Hey, welcome to our scene on the adrenal steroid synthesis pathways. Here we're going to talk about how the different steroids are made. Aldosterone, cortisol, estrogen, testosterone. We're going to make this scene a lot of fun and easy to remember. And I just want to say I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel. It really helps the channel go. So now we're going to talk about what's going on in each of these rooms over here. That's going to represent a different molecule in the pathway. And the goal of this video is that by the end of it, we should have this image etched in our mind as well as the labeled product. Let's take a look at that. Here we have it. Here we can see what we're going to get to at the end, the labeled product, where we see all the different molecules and enzymes over the adrenal steroid synthesis pathway. But before we get to what's going on in each of the individual rooms, let's just have an overview and remind ourselves that what's going on in this column over here is happening in the zona glomerulosa. And what's going on in this column over here is happening in the fasciculata. And what's going on in this column over here is happening in the reticularis. The mnemonic for that is GFR. The three of these, the glomerulosa, the fasciculata, and the reticularis, occurs in the adrenal cortex. Whereas what's occurring over here happens in the peripheral tissue. But we'll get to that. Let's begin with this first room over here. Imagine you enter this building over here. You enter through this door, and you see this burger over here. This cute looking burger over here. He's kind of like shocked to see you because he's like, what are you doing here? You're like, hey, I just want to check out the building. But anyway, this cholesterol burger over here is going to remind us of cholesterol. Cholesterol is the first molecule in the adrenal steroid synthesis pathway. And you might have noticed that on his shoe over here, he has this lace that's stuck to it. A lace with a decimal point on it. You see that decimal point over there? The decimal lace for desmolase. Cholesterol desmolase is the enzyme which catalyzes the conversion of cholesterol to the next molecule. Let's take a look. You see this pregnant lion? He's even giving birth in this room over here. He's a pregnant lion for pregnenolone. To get from the cholesterol burger to the pregnant lion, you have to go through this decimal lace. This reminds us that to get from cholesterol to pregnenolone, you have to go through cholesterol desmolase. And then we have the next molecule over here. We see this project over here that's staring at the lion giving birth. The projector staring for progesterone. But to get from the pregnant lion to the projector staring, you have to go through this tree. There's this tree trunk stuck in the floor over here. The tree, tree for three, three beta, three beta hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase. And we're going to see that three beta is actually required for the conversion of everything in this building on the second floor to everything on the third floor, which we'll see. To get from this projector staring to what's going on underneath him, you have to get through these twin guns over here. You have to maybe separate them or something. These twin guns for 21, 21 hydroxylase. What does that lead to if you go through 21 hydroxylase? That leads you to the 11 doctors. You see these doctors over here? Their heads are made of 11. The 11 doctors that are rowing in this rowboat. So the 11 doctors that are rowing for 11 deoxycorticosterone. It's possible to get to the next step. You have to hold on to, to, to these two 11 loaves over here, the 11 loaves for 11, 11 beta hydroxylase. And once you do that, you get to the quarter that's rowing, the quarter that's rowing for corticosterone. And finally, you can get to the bottom floor, but you have to go through this evil face over here, or this sin face over here, sin face for synthase, and specifically aldosterone synthase, which takes you to aldosterone. We're going to remember that it's aldosterone synthase because it takes you to aldosterone. How do you remember aldosterone? Well, here we have the Waldo stone or the Aldo stone. Aldo stone for aldosterone. And that's the final step in the zona glomerulosa. Now let's back out for a moment. We just went down this column over here, but it was possible to get from the line over here to the line that's next to him. And it was possible to get from the projector to the projector that was next to it. Let's take a look at this line and this projector over here. So here we have a hydrated pregnant lion, a hydrated pregnant lion with a 17 on it. This 17 hydrated pregnant lion for 17 hydroxypregnenolone. But to get to this hydrated lion over here, you had to go through this heaven teen over here who's sticking through his body through the wall, the heaven teen for 17, 17 alpha hydroxylase. Similarly, to get from this projector over here to the 17 hydrated projector over here, you had to go through the heaven teen for 17 alpha hydroxylase. And again, if you wanted to go further, you would have to go through the heaven teen again, and he could take you to this deer for dia, D-H-E-A, or he could take you to this and sign over here, the and sign for androstanodione. But let's not get to that third column yet. Let's continue going down the fasciculata. So just like the twin guns could have taken you to the 11 doctors rowing, it could have taken you to the 11 doctors stuck to the wall, the 11 doctors on the wall for 11 deoxycortisol. 
And again, it was possible to hold on to these Levin Lovas down here and go to the floor below it to take you to this quarter on the wall. Quarter on the wall for cortisol. And cortisol is the main steroid which we're interested in the fasciculata. But if you wanted to go further, it could take you to this step over here, the quarter zone. This is a club where only quarters are allowed. This is the quarter zone, the quarter zone for cortisone. Let's get back to this deer over here. So we have this deer over here. And again, there's this tree over here for 3, 3 beta, which can take you to the and sign for androstenedione. Under the and sign, we find this guy over here, this strong man. We'll call him the testosterone man. Androstenedione is converted to testosterone. Now let's take a look at what's going on over here. Over here we have these aroma bottles. They hold perfume. They hold aromas. And the aroma bottle can taste. Aroma that can taste for aromatase. So over here we see that, that from the and room over here, for androstenedione, you can either go to over here, where there's ester that's stuck to a drone, ester stuck to a drone for estrone, or it can take you from the testosterone man to ester dialing for estradiol. This girl's name is Esther, and she's dialing for estradiol. And it's important to note that estrone and estradiol can be interconverted. But anyway, the testosterone man actually had another route, and that could have taken him to his brother over here, with the two hydrants, the dihydrants. Testosterone can be converted to dihydrotestosterone. And through what? Through these five elephants over here, for five alpha, five alpha reductase. Five alpha reductase converts testosterone to dihydrotestosterone. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. In another video, we're gonna talk about the enzymes involved in inhibition of these steps. But for now, I hope you enjoyed. Again, please subscribe to the channel. If you want a PDF of this file, please let me know. Send me an email. Alrighty, take care.